Hey, it's Simon from electricaltradeacademy.com. Now, in my previous tutorial, I demonstrated how we measure voltage, which is the measure of potential difference between two points using a contact voltage tester and a multimeter. However, current is the flow of electrons through a cable, so we need a different test device in the form of the current clamp, which simply clamps around a live conductor, and it picks up the magnetic field produced by the AC waveform, which it converts into a numerical value. We can use these current values for design and testing purposes, and also use them for energy price calculating. So, gather round, let's check out how it works. In this first example, we can measure the entire current consumption of an installation by measuring from the incoming tails. You can choose either live or neutral tail, as the flow of current is equal in either, and clamp around one of them. Straight away we can see it's putting around 2 amps. You do exactly the same on a three-phase installation, just clamp around any of the three supply cables to see the current pull. Now, if we want to know the current consumption of an individual appliance or machine, let's clamp around its supply cable and see what we get. Ah, zero. Now why is that? Well, the current clamp measures zero because the magnetic fields produced by the oscillating AC waveform back and forth down the live and neutral conductors cancel each other out when they're in close proximity. So to get around this problem, we need to make a special lead which exposes the live conductor only. Well, here's one I made earlier, which is basically a piece of cable with a socket and a plug on the end, and the outer insulation carefully cut off, exposing the basic insulation of the line conductor, which we can now clamp around. So, let's try this again and see what happens. Ah, 10.8 amps. Right, anyone for a cuppa? And there you go. Like and subscribe for more.